circuits, the wiring is so complex that it is impossible to complete with a single level of aluminum wiring. Several additional layers of wiring are often produced on the same circuit. This SEM photograph shows a device with two metal layers. This cross-section shows five metal layers. Each additional layer typically requires at least two additional masks and the following process steps. Deposition of silicon dioxide to electrically insulate one layer of wiring from the subsequent levels. Photolithography, masking and etching to open contact holes between the top layer of metal and the next layer to be deposited. Deposition into the contact holes of another tungsten plug. This ensures a good electrical connection between wiring levels and a more planar surface. Deposition and patterning of the new upper level of aluminum alloy. After all of the desired levels of metal interconnects are in place, a final layer of silicon nitride is deposited to protect the fragile aluminum interconnects. In the last photolithography step, only the nitride on top of the bonding pads is etched away. The white aluminum pads are all along the outer edges of this chip. They are the contact points between the wires from the outside world and the integrated circuit. The wafers are then stripped to photoresist and the run is complete. Finally, the wafers are ready for electrical testing and packaging. And me? I'm ready for my own kind of run.